Hey guys, I'm going to give you my honest, quick reaction to episode 7 of The Acolyte, which just aired a few hours ago. So I want to do this while it's still fresh. But you know that I am here to give you balanced reviews. I usually don't take a real extreme opinion one way or the other. Not a shill, not a hater, but I am going to tell you what I liked, what I didn't like. Uh, so first of all, we went back to this whole flashback. And that was something that I was a little bit worried about, that we would have a whole episode of Flashback again after we already had one. I'm not, now, this episode of Flashback was better than the last one, don't get me wrong. But, uh, I still, I, I, I feel like I really, really wanted to see what was going to happen next with where we left off in episode six. And so this kind of jumped away from that. So that was initially a little bit disappointing to me because um, I'm just worried about how much time is left in the series and what they can actually depict, right? So my honest opinion really is that eight episodes and the length, the short length of episodes is part of what holds back some of these series, particularly true for the Acolyte. And so that means that if they just had a little bit more time, maybe honestly, probably about double the time, um, then they could still depict a, a, a fully fleshed out flashback like that, but maybe intercut it with what's going on in real time with Keimer and Osha. I want to know what's going on and where's, you know, Sol and May going probably back to the same planet uh, that they started out, right? But still, um, I, I want to know. And so that was a little disappointing to me. Now, the flashback itself was, it was fine. Um, there were some things that I really liked. I actually was very interested in this whole idea of a virgence in the Force again. It's kind of reminiscent of what we we're hearing about in the Rise of Skywalker, right? Between Ben Solo, Ky Kylo Ren, and Rey. And, you know, is, that, is there some power that can be drawn out there? So these twins are, a, I guess, a consciousness that has split when the life was created through this virgence in the Force by this witch coven, right? And so interesting that they had heard of the Night Sisters at that point, too, because they mentioned that. Right? So they have this sort of fear and bias built in that they're worried that something's going to happen. They're clearly being influenced somehow, a little bit of dark side coming out in the Jedi. And I know that's part of the point of the series, I think, is to reflect sort of the nuance in the Jedi and not make them quite such a monolith group that are always controlled and always kind of making the good choices. Of the, obviously, Anakin's an exception, right? Um, but I do... I do want to see more of what was going to happen at the end of six. I just keep coming back to that. And I thought that maybe when o uh, Osha put the helmet, Kymer's helmet on, that that would be the moment maybe when we get some of those flashes of the past, that she'd get some sort of a vision, but maybe influenced by the dark side. And then simultaneously, uh, Soul could be telling May about what really happened. I don't know. It didn't play out that way. It's okay. Um, and the thing where they were like turning into mist. I don't have a problem with that, just like I don't really have a problem with what the Dathomir witches were doing in Ahsoka that was kind of new and different. I'm cool with adding new stuff. I really am. Um, I need a little more time. Again, like it just felt sort of out of nowhere. So I'm like, wait, what's this power? I mean, that's kind of interesting, but wait, what? You know, and so, and them controlling their minds and stuff like that. That one didn't feel quite as abrupt because we sort of saw the hints of what that would look like previously. Um, it was cool to see our Wookiee Jedi friend, uh, Kalnaka, finally fighting uh, Torben and Sol and having this big battle. I love the fights in this series. Those are really well done. So I, I enjoy that. Keep the fights coming. That's fine. Um, as far as uh, the mechanics of the magic system and the mechanics of the Force, I think the writers are struggling a little bit with understanding that. It's okay. But again, I think given more time, they would be able to it's not have to make some decisions there that seem abrupt or that seem a little bit off from maybe what we would expect from how the magic system, the force of Star Wars is supposed to work, or at least how we think it's supposed to work. Again, I'm okay with adding new powers, new abilities, different things, but we want to try to keep some consistency where we can. And yes, I'm talking about the bridge scene. I know people have already been kind of pointing that out, that why Soul holding up the two sides of the bridge when the girls are lighter, he could just grab them and pull them over. I don't know, maybe the stress of the moment, right? He was already making some bad decisions and wasn't thinking straight. I don't know. I'm not trying to make excuses for the, for the writers. Um, so, but it, I mean, it was better to see the flashback from the Jedi perspective. I definitely found that more interesting this, than the original flashback for sure. Um, and I hope that, man, I hope we get some really satisfying closure in episode eight, unless it's really long. I think it's going to be hard to pull off because we still got the stuff going on with Vanestra out there, you know, and, 
how's that going to wrap up quickly? We got the stuff going on with Keimer, and that's what I really want to know more about. And then we got the stuff going on with uh, May and Soul head off together. So we'll see where they go with episode eight. I'll put out a, a more extensive review when I have some time to really think through kind of what I thought. But I wanted to give you give you my quick reactions. If you guys like this uh, kind of content, let me know. You know, um, again, you don't have to agree with me. I know there's people that really dislike the show. It's totally fine. People that. Um, love it and that's fine too um, but I think I think there's things to like and I think there's things that you know it's okay to admit could have gone better anyway subscribe if you haven't yet and be sure and leave a like it helps out a lot thanks everyone